Hi, this is Karina, and you are listening to the show. Yeah. Listen to the show. What's going on? It's WRFU here at 104.5 FM. Checking out broadcasting live from an undisclosed location. A little bit of feedback coming from the speakers kicking to my right on the screen at the left. Man, we go all over the places unscripted live in the situation right now. Got some special guests in the house going to be blessing us tonight, man. I want to thank everyone for staying tuned throughout the technical difficulties slash natural disasters coming at us, putting all sorts of roadblocks and obstacles in front of us as we try to reverberate over 104.5 FM. want to thank everyone who's tuning in, watching us live online. want to thank everyone who's watching The Madness through the TV show right now, who's catching us on YouTube. Wherever you're watching us right now, we appreciate your support. Want to say the benefit show is going to take place tomorrow for WRFU. Basically, you can support our radio station, help us to get a tower to go from being 100 watts at yay feet to being up 100 feet. Up to 100 feet, folks, we can broadcast throughout the Urbana Champagne community, spread our signal a little wider, touch a few more ears as we go across. That'll take place tomorrow from Mike and Molly's. 5.30 p.m., I believe, onward until 1 a.m. at night. I think it's a $4 cover. Money is going towards benefits and raising our tower. You'll hear bands coming throughout the night. Every 30 minutes, there'll be a different band playing from out, whether it's from the community or community university, as I like to say, whether they're students, people working, people who just enjoy producing live, independent music, and they'll be blessing us tomorrow at Mike and Molly's. There's also going to be another event, Black Roses, we'll be playing tomorrow, right? Somewhere in Urbana Champagne. We'll touch on them when they come on the mic. Sunday, Sunday coming up. Folks out there, let me tell you, when you come on to the show, people always ask me, well, what is the show about? I don't even know. I have scholars come on and bless me. We create a little space for art and media to be created. And after that, man, we all work with each other's energy. Sometimes we talk about politics. Sometimes we talk about post Different artists who are coming through and broadcasting live. One of the topics I didn't want to touch upon, I was real sick this past week. And of course, like 45 different people asked me whether or not I had the swine flu. Everybody, I had to be the swine flu. And after a while, I had to get off the, I was a little bit, uh, how should I say, racially conscious. I was concerned, I was like, why, because I'm Latino? Is that what it is? You know? No, but then I realized everybody's just real paranoid for that. But you got to realize that the statistics don't support the fear and the paranoia going on right now. I want to say there's maybe been three documented cases of death within the U.S. You know, most of them have been people who have been, you know, immunocompromised or not immunocompetent. So they were sick, you know, young babies. And so it was, it's three people. And at the same duration of time that we had all the CNN, you know, Fox News telling us, bam, go be scared. You know, World Health Organization, level five, you know, fear, pandemic, epidemic, etc. Over 1,000 people died from the regular flu in the U.S. You know, at the same time that three people died, probably several thousand people died. Because we looked at the stats, apparently 36,000 people died per year in the U.S. from the flu. Go figure, you know. But mind you, like I said, somebody sent me the text and said, well, three people in the U.S. died from the flu and everybody's wearing masks. Everybody's wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? Over a million people get AIDS and nobody's wearing condoms. So, you know, the information is crazy like that. Another issue I did want to touch upon is the situation going on in Guatemala. I read about this. Basically, one of the opposing parties for president was assassinated while he was riding his bike in his wealthy neighborhood, apparently. Just shot in the head. I mean, it's a very common occurrence. Something like 19 people died per week in Guatemala from gang-related narco-trafficking, violence, etc. And so, he left a video uh, that people were watching posthumously that he says in the video that if I died and passed away from and you're watching this video, it's because the president killed me. <laughs> this is the guy he was running against because the president killed me. And he's, this is the right-wing conservative who's spewing this about the liberal um, person who won by a vast majority because the indigenous peoples, believe the minds, you know, elected him to there. And so it's very weird, like, you know, this very conservative guy who got killed and assassinated, making his claims that he was, you know, calling people out for narco-trafficking and call, holding people accountable, and he was assassinated. And so it's like, you know, when people watching this video, they're protesting outside the president's, you know, palace and, and mansion and trying to say, no, you should be, we should be taken out of power. You shouldn't even be president. You know, this is not right. And, you know, so you have the right wing conservative people going against the guy who's in office, the liberal, indigenous mind. And so I'm conflicted here. I'm conflicted here. There's obviously a lot of narco drug trafficking. And I say, you know what? If we really want to resolve the situation, because apparently we've sent an FBI agent down there, I think we should just legalize drugs. How about that? Then there won't be a reason for them to traffic people and then kill people and, you know, assassinate people because the illegal economy will be completely removed. All the profits and benefits which they were using to fund all these, you know, illegal acts will now get taxed. Why pay the hit man when you can pay the tax man? You know what I'm saying that's the consequence. It's the same thing the Irish did in Chicago. You know what I'm saying when they wanted for libations, man. We all want to break bread, take Jesus water, Jesus juice, and partake, you know, but situations happen. Like I said, man, I want to welcome everyone to the show. You tuning in from wherever you are, man. You in your car, 
You chillin' out vibe, you got stuck home because of the weather, a natural disaster. You watching the speaker almost collapse on my head from my the left of my shoulder, the right on the screen. Maybe you don't even catch it on camera, so you don't know the madness that's going on. But I just keep talking and talking and talking. And I bless the microphone first, man. I put a little witticism, truism, I spit over the mic, man. I heard this guy, he said, we don't keep it real anymore, man. We don't keep it real. We keep it raw, man. Like the uncut crack that was infused into our communities and then watered down for profit. But I give it to you raw, man. You catch us on 104.5 FM. Every Friday, you catch the voice uncut. We say things as unscripted, it's, it's live, man. I, I'm, I'm, good, I'm good off the goose. The libations are, are vibrating and gyrating. My throat ah, is killing me, but still vibrating, sending out, man. Undulations over the 104.5 FM. Catch us tomorrow on Mike and Molly's. It's a benefit show. Different scholars and artists. Want to thank Jack Pond Savage, who was here last Friday. We also thank Jason Bentley, who was here last Friday. Thank all the scholars who's blessed us throughout the semester, who's going to bless us during the summer, who's going to bless us next semester as well when we get on on demand. We'll be in Colorado. <laughs> Colorado on demand. We'll also be throughout Illinois on demand, man. I don't know where we're going, projecting our voices, our images forward, trying to put out positivity, live, sound taste, sound, blah, 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 creativity. And you never know what you're gonna get, man. This is the show, WRF OP about 104.5 FM. Wanna thank you all for sticking around with us. Black Roses is on deck. We're gonna go into the music courtesy of DJBooth.net. Thank you to DJBooth.net and DJ Z who's hooking me up with all the new music. I'll play tracks months before they come out. And it's really dead and buried the time i spent with you is gone i know and you know more time to spend on with